we're uh, speaking with Suresh Venkatraman of Micron Technology. We're in uh, Micron's booth where they're going to talk to us a little bit about the new advances they've been making in HD sensors. So Suresh, maybe I should just turn it over to you and let you talk about it. Sure. Um, Micron has been a leading supplier of uh, CMOS image sensors for uh, about three to four years now. Um, Micron got into this business about five years, and since then we've become the leading, one of the leading suppliers of CMOS sensors for uh, mobile applications, mobile camera applications. Um, you know, one in three sensors that uh, you see in camera phones today are uh, probably from Micron. Um, you know, we have sensors ranging anyway from VGA all the way to five megapixels for the mobile applications. Um, but also Micron's strengths has been in um, a lot of other areas, especially in high-speed uh, sensor design. Uh, you know, arguably we have the best pixel technology in the industry uh, for CMOS sensors. Uh, but, you know, Micron has um, a history of designing high-speed sensors, especially for machine vision applications where we design sensors all the way up to 4,000, 5,000 frames a second. Um, and then coming down to VGA type applications for, more, for uh, mobile. Um, one of the trends we've seen in the industry is HD um, you know, video becoming a big part and also high-speed sensors becoming a big part of digital cameras and uh, digital video cameras. Um, in addition, uh, Micron last year introduced the, one of the world's smallest HD sensor um, and we've been shipping that now in volume for some time um, and we're taking advantage of that and seeing um, applications like YouTube driving HD video um, a lot more um, and you know people's uh, video screens either at home on HD TV or on the computer monitor are becoming high definition and some of them are more than high definition screens and people are expecting to see uh, fairly good quality video on their um, on their uh, screens, um, and um, you know sharing a video through YouTube is becoming such a phenomenon. It's starting to drive demand in the market for you know uh, for easily accessible, low cost, uh, but very good quality video cameras. Yeah, because the video right now, even on my cell phone, I mean, forget about it. It's not. Right. Yeah, yeah, and it's very. It's you know it's okay to take an incidental little shot, but it does not really capture the mood, and you know it does not take advantage of the technologies available. Um, and some of the digital cameras are starting to do, you know, HD video, although they're not true HD video. They're like, you know, 720p, but 15 frames per second, but not quite 30 or 60 frames per second. Um, and uh, so there is definitely a gap there. And I, what Micron did was to work with some of our partners to create a really nice uh, reference design that you can create true HD video uh, out of this device uh, coming out of your pocket. Um, one, of the, one of the things that people, you know, were college kids or school kids, um, or people are going on vacation is they want to have cameras in their pockets they're not worried about you know losing it or banging it around um, but expect good quality of video out of it um, but it takes a lot of technology for for us to make this happen um, first of all the sensor has to be really tiny otherwise the lens becomes big the whole camera systems becomes very big so we've you know some of used our best pixel technology uh, to create uh, one of the world's smallest HD sensor and uh, we worked with uh, some, some of our interesting partners that also consolidate the rest of the system into a single device, uh, silicon device. In this case, it's Amberella. Um, so essentially, you know, you can create a little camera like this that has our sensor, a processing device, memory, and then just flash. And you can capture HD video. Um, and the idea behind this is we have created a reference design uh, you know, with all the software, everything ready to go, that manufacturers can take and add some value by, you know, interesting LCDs or throwing on a better lens on it. Um, throwing out more flash and you know bringing it to market, and we hope to get this reference design um, out to these guys in you know in a couple of months, uh, essentially in Q2 of this year, and hopefully by the end of the year you have see products um, like this in the market. So these will be handheld portable HD recorders. That's right. You can pretty much put it in your pocket and you can take it in with you. Yeah, right. right. And so, uh, what kind of HD signals are encoding? So this essentially, you know, the uh, the HD out of this is 720p, 60 frames per second, um, and it can uh, record um, essentially H.264 video. It can do MPEG formats as well, but H.264 being the latest and greatest, uh, and is supported now by QuickTime and uh, you know Media Player, Adobe Flash Player. So it's you know essentially you can get this off, put it on your computer, and play it. Um, some of the websites now, you know, there are a couple of websites now that also support uploading HD video for sharing as well. So you can upload it there and look at it too. Okay. And so uh, do you think maybe there'd be a move to actually integrate this technology into regular DSCs, uh, digital still cameras? Sure, absolutely. Like I was saying, a lot of the digital cameras are just playing with video now. Yeah. Um, but essentially, you know, we are definitely looking at bringing this to the market. We've been very successful with our 5 megapixel sensor, um, especially on the low end that can do HD video. There have been some very interesting products in the market that have been reviewed. Um, we definitely expect to bring full HD video to the DSC type product going to 8, 9, and 10 megapixel.
So there you have it. In another uh, couple of years, you'll end up seeing digital still cameras with uh, HD, true HD sure, video absolutely. capability. Right? Right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, Suresh. Thank you.